Welcome to our presentation on the use of recombinant proteins in medicine. Recombinant DNA is a strand of DNA that is formed by the combination of multiple DNA sequences. By using recombinant DNA technologies, scientists are able to create new DNA sequences that would not naturally exist under normal circumstances and environmental conditions. Recombinant DNA technology plays a vital role in the production of recombinant proteins for pharmaceutical, medical, agricultural, research and biotechnology purposes. Recombinant proteins are proteins that are artificially made through recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant proteins are used in many areas such as vaccines, therapeutics, detergents, diagnostic tools, cosmetics, food production and feed additives. In recent years, medical biotechnology has experienced rapid growth, leading to the development of innovative techniques used for preventing, diagnosing and treating diseases. Recombinant proteins have provided important breakthroughs when it comes to medical biotechnology. Recombinant DNA technology provides a more efficient method to obtain large amounts of proteins, especially when it comes to recombinant proteins used in treatment as drugs. In 1982, recombinant human insulin was the first recombinant protein used in treatment for patients with diabetes. Since then, the recombinant protein industry has rapidly grown with currently more than 170 recombinant proteins being produced and used in medicine worldwide. The thought and idea of recombinant DNA was proposed by Peter Loben, a graduate student of Stanford University. He hypothesized his method of recombinant DNA by the separation and amplification of genes by inserting them into a host cell. In 1974, Stanford University submitted an application for patent of recombinant DNA, with the inventors being Stanley Cohen and Herbert Boyer. This was awarded to the pair in 1980. A major method used to produce recombinant proteins is gene cloning. In order for recombinant proteins to exist, recombinant DNA must be created first. Gene cloning is the process where a gene of particular interest is cloned out of DNA extracted from an organism. The procedure involves three major steps, cutting and pasting DNA, bacteria transformation and selection, and protein production. DNA is cut into fragments using a restriction enzyme. The fragments are then combined with DNA ligase, which creates a recombinant plasmid containing the desired gene. Bacterial, during bacterial transformation, plasmids can be introduced into bacteria such as E. coli. Through this process, bacterial cells are encouraged to take up foreign DNA through heat shock. These bacterial cells are plated and begin to grow into colonies. An individual colony contains a large quantity of identical DNA, which this is referred to as the DNA clone. From this, recombinant proteins are made and can be used for a variety of methods, in particular, medicine. So how do recombinant proteins work? Well, recombinant proteins are used for protein expression among various systems. After the production of recombinant DNA through gene cloning, the recombinant proteins are now ready to be expressed. Strategy used for recombinant protein expression involve transfecting cells with a DNA plasmid or vector containing the DNA type template, as well as culturating cells so they can transcribe and translate the desired protein. The selection of a particular system relies on the protein type, its functional activity requirements, and the desired yield. One of the major expression systems used in medicine is the mammalian gene expression system. This is because the use of therapeutic proteins, which are used in medical practices, are produced in mammalian cells. Using this type of gene expression results in higher levels of post-translational processing and functional activity. Stable cell lines are used during this process with plasmid transfection taking up to several weeks while virus vector can infect cells within a few days. However, many recombinant proteins used in medicine are also produced using the bacterial expression system due to its rapid growth and high yield. 
This is completed by transferring a vector into a DNA fragment into that desired cell. These recombinant proteins used in medicine are important therapies for a wide variety of diseases such as cancer, anemia and diabetes. The recombinant proteins that are mainly used in medicine are antibodies, hormones and insulin. The number of recombinant proteins used for therapeutic applications has increased significantly over recent years. Many of the applications include complex glycoproteins and antibodies with relatively high production needs. These high demands have driven the development of a variety of improvements in protein expression technology involving mammalian and microbial culture systems. Recombinant proteins have wide applications in medicine, research, and biotechnology. The dysfunction of specific proteins are partially related to most human diseases. Therapeutic recombinant proteins have a significant role in the treatment of, for a variety of diseases such as diabetes, cancer, hemophilia, anemia, and infectious diseases. Some common recombinant therapeutic proteins take form as antibodies, hormones, enzymes, anticoagulants, and interleukins. Most recombinant therapeutic proteins are produced in mammalian cell culture using Chinese hamster ovaries. Due to these cells being able to create similar proteins to those produced naturally, Bacterial cells like E. coli are commonly used to generate recombinant therapeutic proteins due to well-characterized genetics, rapid growth, and high yield production. Other varieties of alternative expression systems are also being developed. Insulin was the first recombinant protein produced for therapeutic use. Before production, diabetic patients were forced to rely on insulin purified from the pancreas of pigs and cows. Occasionally this, is, occasionally, this resulted in serious immune reactions. Thankfully, recombinant human insulin has drastically improved therapy for diabetic patients. Another recombinant protein used for therapeutic use is somatrophin. The recombinant human growth hormone that is identical to the pituary derived human growth hormone. Synthesized in E. coli as a precursor consisting of the growth hormone molecule conjugated with the secretion signal from the E. coli protein, which directs the precursor, the precursor to the plasma membrane of E. coli. Somatrophin is used for the treatment of growth failure from chronic renal insufficiency, endogenous growth hormone deficiency, and in some cases, it is a treatment option for Turner's syndrome. Advantages of using recombinant proteins in medicines included treating diseases, developing vaccine, and scientific research. In terms of treating diseases, recombinant proteins in DNA extract from humans or animals, for example, insulin can be used to treat diabetes. In regards to developing vaccines, recombinant proteins, for example, hepatitis B proteins are used in vaccines which now contain only a very tiny amount of protein from the virus rather than the entire virus itself, which pose no risk of infection unlike the virus itself. In addition, another adventure uh, is in scientific research as recommended proteins can now be produced as well as isolated with a greater easy than tra traditional methods. Thanks to technology, which also allows the purification of large quantities of protein for study or investigation to be possible. Shortcomings or disadventures of using recombinant uh, proteins in medicine included scientific side effects, it taken very high doses and short tissue health, 
life or very small exposure per periods, which does not make it variable for real-world applications. In regards to side effects, recombined protein can cause several side effects if taken or administered in high doses or amounts like lack of FNCs or, high or hypersensitively reactions. According to the journal article, antibody medi mediate side effects of recombined proteins by high force. Furthermore, if recombined proteins have a short tissue half life, this means that they react quite readily, which could cause harm to the environment or to the test subject from which it is test upon. Also, it also it react uh, restrict the medical uses of recombined proteins due to, to short exposure. Per Potential future applications of recombined proteins: recombined silks proteins be replaced nature spider silks. Recombined proteins may be able to be produced by filamentous fungi. The applications of ligands in the uh, purifications of recombined proteins to be used in the chroma 